Stasis 23 here, and today's Night Therapy, we have a new Civivi knife. This here is a Civivi Praxis, a super popular model from Civivi. One of my favorite of their older models. It's an excellent slicer, very comfortable, nice full-size knife. Well, they have now introduced the Mini Praxis. If y'all haven't didn't catch my unboxing that I had to take down, Mini Praxis is the newest of uh, their releases so far. And what a cool little EDC knife we have. Let's get the specs out of the way. You have a total length of 6.79 inches. So it's in that medium to smaller range. You have a blade length of 2.96 inches. So it's gonna be legal in areas with three and under blade laws. You have a cutting edge of 2.5 inches. You have a grip area from here to the back of 3.1 inches, or you can choke up and you have a grip area of 4.1 inches. You have a pretty skinny handle scale thickness of 0.45 inches and a closed width in the pocket from here to here of 1.13 inches. A blade stock thickness of a pretty skinny 0.099 inches and the behind the edge thickness on my particular knife is around 14 thousandths sharpened at 20 degrees per side. Whenever I first got this knife from Civivi, it, it made me think of uh, the Trezola uh, ATCF Lite. But there definitely are some things about the mini practice that I love a lot more than the ATCF Lite. Now let's take a closer look at this. You have that beautiful drop point blade that we know from the full size Praxis. Nice top swedge that brings that tip down to a nice needle like point right there for piercing and doing some nice drag cuts. Uh, this one has a black wash finish. I don't know what other ones will be released uh, because I'm doing this the night before it actually releases. Um, you have a full forward finger choil, and it's actually the same size as the full size Praxis. Let me see if I can show you all that. I was kind of shocked. That's one thing I liked about the full size Praxis as well. Uh, you do have a really small row of jimping right there. It's kind of on a thumb ramp. As you can see, it does give you some traction, but I'm not holding the knife like this. Uh, I overshoot it, so it didn't really, didn't really bother me in my testing at least. Uh, one thing also that's different is the blade steel. They, I don't know why, but they ended up going with uh, D2, which they do a good job with their D2, so it's not that big of a deal, and it's coated. But I would have either liked to see them do the same in nine, the same nine CR eighteen MOV stainless steel or fourteen C would have been excellent. But we'll see how it performs in just a second. You have a thinner blade stock than the full size uh, Praxis that comes down. This flat grind comes down to a nice thin edge. Now let's see how well that D two performs. The knife came very sharp from factory and right away I was blown away by how well it was slicing. Uh, I didn't notice I needed to be in that choked up position uh, to, to, so I wasn't so far away from the edge. And that's where I stayed for pretty much all the cutting that I was holding something in my hand. Now we're gonna test the ergos and see how well that edge is biting. And uh, right away, I, I was able to make fine curls easily. And I was worried that this, the thin scales were gonna be uncomfortable. Uh, wasn't uncomfortable at all. However, I did have to squeeze the handle a little bit tighter just so it wouldn't twist in the hand at all. But definitely able to get some powerful cuts in there, especially in that choked up position. Both choked up and uh, holding it back was very comfortable, at least uh, to me it was. Didn't have any hot spots to speak of and I uh, could have did this all day. That beautiful drop point blade is excellent for making these drag cuts. Uh, it's nice and thin up there by the tip and uh, the edge being as sharp as it is, it's breezing through the material. Uh, cutting on the flat surface and the pinch grip was uh, very good, very easy and I had a lot of control. Um, the, that Pointer finger grip is also one that I was enjoying whenever I, when I didn't have to put down too much pressure into that whatever material I was cutting. I was worried that uh, the black coating would cause a little bit of drag doing that rubber cutting, but I had no issues. And uh, so far, that edge is holding up well. It's, it's 
literally going through this stuff faster than I, don't, I can recall it doing uh, on another production knife that I've tested in a while. It's really, really doing a good job. And I was kind of worried because this denim, even though it's not a 12 ounce denim, it's a bigger piece than you would try to cut with a knife like this because it just doesn't have as much blade length and it blasts through it. Now we move on to the half inch twisted sisal rope. I'm really had my fingers crossed that it still had some bite to that edge because sometimes the VVs can come with not so much bite to them. But uh, lo and behold, this one is cutting this uh, rope effortlessly without much pressure still. And um, I, I felt like I could continue to do this over and over again. We, we end up making 32 cuts into the rope and uh, only stopped because I ran out of rope. <laughs> this rope's kind of giving me a little bit of problems because it's twisted up. It's the last piece from the uh, actual roll. So uh, that's the only reason it looks like I'm kind of struggling a little bit. Um, other than that, it was an absolute joy to use and definitely one to be uh, excited about. To me, the only two things that could have made this knife any better is to have a little bit thicker of handle scales and uh, use 14C instead of D2. But other than that, I love the knife. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the, that cutting. Let's take a look at this edge after the cutting. It's got a good working edge still. It's not the best. Um, got a few small hangups to it. Now let's close it up and take a look at the action. It's riding on ceramic ball bearings with a ceramic detent ball. It's got a flipper tab deployment with jimping. It's fine jimping. It does a good job and it's nice and comfortable rounded over. Nice light switch will uh, get it rocketing out and you can also do a push button and it's gonna come out nice and snappy as well. It is a lighter blade, but you can give it some shakes. It's, it'll go back to its own. Now let's take a look at the handle scale area. You have the Civivi branded uh, logo pivot right there that's flush. Uh, you got flush hardware in the back right here, T8 on the body screws. T8 on the pivot and uh, T6 on the clip screws. The clip is countersunk into the G10, excellent, and the screws as well, so nothing for it to get hung up on. I like this clip, it functions nicely. Let's check it out in the pocket. I found that it went in and out of the pocket nicely uh, and it pretty much disappears in the pocket. It's very lightweight, so you won't really know that you even have a knife in your pocket. On this particular knife, you have green pill ply G10. It's that, you know, same pill ply they usually use. It's like a medium traction. It's not gonna tear up your pants. And you have a nice chamfer going all the way around and softening of the edges. Uh, it's nice and comfortable in the hand. I didn't have any hot spots to speak of. It is a little bit uh, thinner, but uh, not a problem until I really start to, you know, work on that edge. And usually with a smaller knife, I'm not putting it through that kind of uh, hard, harder task. All right, let's open it up and take a look at the inside. You have two barrel standoffs in the back right here. You have a hidden lanyard post. Love seeing that so they don't have a hole uh, messing up the flow of the, uh, the liner, the scales. Your inside has been heavily uh, skeletonized on the show side scale, nothing on the lock side, but I don't think they really need it. Let's check it out on the scale. First in grams, 77.8 grams and 2.74 ounces. Yeah, anytime I carried this, I forgot it was in the pocket. All right, let's take a look at the lockup. The lock is sitting, I guess, at I'd say about 40%. No up and down whatsoever. Nice and tight lockup. I can muscle some side to side flex. That's about it. Uh, nothing to be alarmed about. Access to the lock bar for me is good. Uh, this comes down a little bit high, a little bit lower than the lock side, and it's got a little bit of texture there. I can easily get my thumb on it to disengage it, no problem. Now for some quick size comparisons, we have the Ontario Wrap Model 2 and the Trezola ATCF Lite. It's about identical in length to the ATCF Lite. Uh, the, the, the Rat 2 is a little bit larger. Next up, we have the Benchmade 945 and the Civivi Bow. It's about identical in length to the 945. Uh, the Civivi bow is a hair shorter. 
Lastly, we have the Benchmade Mini Grip and the Nafs Lander. Uh, it's bigger than the Lander and it's uh, about the same size as the Mini Grip. All right, nitpicks and complaints. I think I already talked about them. Uh, rather than the D2 steel, I would have I would have rather see the, the 9CR that they use often, or 14C would have been my my number one choice out of those two. Uh, but the D2, it's it's not bad. So it's just a, a nitpick, gripe, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they kind of miss out with not having a uh, a two position pocket clip. Uh, especially being that the original had one. I'm not too sure why they didn't put one on this one. And, uh, of course, I would have loved a little bit thick, a little bit more thickness in the scales, but for a smaller knife, I totally get it, and, uh, it's just gonna be an easy-to-carry, uh, EDC blade. So, my overall thoughts, highly recommended. If you like, you know, smaller knives, this one is excellent. Super slicey blade, good action, Comfortable ergos, you can choke up on it. Deep carry pocket clip. Now, you know if you're a lefty, uh, you know I don't know. You may not want to may not want to pick one up depending on how you carry. Uh, but you know definitely, like I said, I think they missed the mark on that one. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear what y'all think. And if you plan on picking one of these up, I'd love to hear that as well down in the comments. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.